His NFL debut today as his Colts hosted the Oilers. Folks, get ready for a Marshall Falk highlight film. Marshall off left tackle, 20 yards. He was just getting revved up. Later on, Marshall Falk scores his first career touchdown in the National Football League from three yards out. Bulls his way into the end zone. Meanwhile, the Colts defense came up big too. Tony Bennett, after Cody Carlson will be hit and fumbles, Tony Bennett says, how do he's off to the races? Well, this is a defensive player's dream to have a uh, fumble recovery like that and to go untouched, escorted down the football field. Great play by Indy's defense. 14-0 Colts at that point, and they were just getting started. Jim Harbaugh, the former Bears quarterback now in Indianapolis, He'll go back and find Floyd Turner, nine yards and a touchdown, 28 nothing at this point. Cody Carlson had a miserable afternoon. He hurt his shoulder, had to be removed from the game. Here he is picked off by Ray Buchanan, who returns it down to the Houston 20. Meanwhile, Marshall Falk was just unbelievable. Take a look at this next run by the former Aztec. You can see why he was the second pick overall in the draft. He goes 50 yards here. How about those moves, Gil? <laughs> you can't stop anybody like that except gang tackle, and they didn't do that today. And you can't teach those moves either. Here's a move to get into the end zone. Cuts, cuts back. Great speed, great vision. Great day for Marshall Falk. Three touchdowns, rushed for 143 yards, and the Colts won it big over Houston, 45-21. Meanwhile, for the Aztecs. Can't say enough good things about this team and about their coach and about what those guys are doing out there. Very, very Billy. exciting Billy. time to be an Aztec fan. Last week when San Diego State opened the season by hammering Navy by 42 points, everyone wanted to know how the Aztecs would do against a good team. Tonight, we found out. Cal from the Pac-10 invaded the Murph. Ted Tolner said, hey, get with it. These guys are for real. And his team responded. 3-0 Cal in the first quarter, Tim Gutierrez. Touchdown to Ken Overby. Aztecs led 7-3, but Cal came back to take a 14-7 lead at the half. 14-13, Cal by one point in the third. Gutierrez up top, caught by Will Blackwell, and he is gone. 65 yards, 19-13 state after three quarters. Then this is when the game got good. Cal came back. Dave Barr to Mark Barra. 20-19, Cal in the fourth quarter. San Diego State had one last chance to come back and win the game. Here's how they set it up. Watch this catch by Mark Ziegler. Are you kidding me? Ziegler juggles it three times to put his team in field goal position with two defenders hanging on his heels. Super catch, and that's set up the kicker, Peter Holt, from 32 yards out. The holder dropped the ball. He got it up. Holt got it through. And San Diego State beats Cal 22 to 20. The Aztecs were 0 and 17 since 1985 against the Pac-10. Cal came into this game as an eight-point favorite. Huge win for the Aztecs and Ted Tolner. After the game, here's what Ted and the kicker Peter Holt had to say about the victory. Those kind of wins are, it's they're, they're the joy in coaching when you see players hang in there, and then something real good happened to guys that have had some bad things happen to them and. It's, it's, it's what it's all about. I mean, it's what a team sport is all about. It's, it's the joy you get that you may not get in an individual sport. And those guys feel that team joy right now, and that's the thing we've been trying to, to get across to them. You know, we're going to go as far as we go together. Everybody said this couldn't happen. You couldn't beat this caliber of a football team. What do you have to say to that? Um, we always believe we could. I, it's just it's one thing where you've got to believe in yourself and go out there and play the best, and whatever happens, happens. And uh, just thank the Lord that we had the chance to go out there and, and play this game tonight. Hopefully no one got hurt. And, and uh, looking forward to next week. And next week, the Aztecs will be in Minnesota to take on the Golden Gophers from the Big Ten. Around the rest of the country. Gains since the Aztecs beat a Pac-10 team. That's about 1985. Tonight, the defense kept the Aztecs in the first half. The offense woke up in the second. Add in some turnovers and a clutch kick. And you have yourself a 22 to 20 Aztec upset over Cal. Now the Bears led 3-0 near the end of the first. Matt Clisby for the Bears fumbles the punt, and Derek Norman recovers for the Aztecs. From their early second quarter, Tim Gutierrez hit Ken Overby with 7-3 Aztecs. Bears led 14-13 third quarter. Then Gutierrez throws. Will Blackwell looking like Jerry Rice, and he gets it and goes. 65 yards. The Aztecs would miss the two-point conversion, so they led 19-14. Tough night for the Bears and their coach, Keith Gilbertson, down and out. <laughs>
Still 1914 Aztecs fourth quarter. Dave Barr hitting Mark Vera. Cal missed the two points. Bears led 20 to 19. Aztecs come back. Gutierrez throws. Watch Mark Ziegler. Bobble, bobble, catch it. Without this catch, the Aztecs would have been in trouble. Instead, they're deep in Cal territory. They let the clock run down. Peter Holt comes in. 32-yard field goal to win it. Yes! The kick is good. They love Ted Tolner. In fact, everyone loves the way the Aztecs are playing. Um, we've got a great football team. They know what to do. And defense played great tonight. Offense played great. I mean, they had to get me in, in a spot to do it. Or else I, I couldn't have done a job. We're not going to let the media or anybody else uh, choose our slot in life. You know, you've always... Uh, picked us as being a lower echelon to uh, certain schools, you know, that being the Pac-10, and uh, we're not going to let you guys do that. You want to be so doggone excited and proud of those guys, and we are, and then you always are that cautious, but we got to keep things in perspective. It's a second ball game, but right now, I tell you, it is beautiful. It certainly is. They're 2-0 and now from the Pac-10 to the Big Ten. The Aztecs play at Minnesota. Can you believe it? Aztecs are 2-0. and oh. And the streak is over. You know, they what had streak? gone winless against Pac-10 opponents oh. for 17 straight games going into tonight. But the streak's over. The jinx is over. The last time San Diego State beat a team from the Pac-10, Ted Toner was the head coach at USC. Now Toner is 2-0 and as the Aztecs head man after they waited to the last play of the game to beat Cal 22-20 at the stadium. The Aztecs took an early lead on a touchdown pass from Tim Gutierrez to Ken Overby. And the new no-huddle offense struck it rich again in the third quarter, trailing 14-13 Gutierrez to Will Blackwell. An incredible catch. And then an even better run. 65 yards for the touchdown. The two-pointer failed. It was 19-14. Dave Barr rallied Cal. He went to reserve tight end Mark Vera with five minutes to go. It was 20-19. The Golden Bears thought they were going to win it. But no, after they missed a field goal, the pass to tight end Mark Ziegler, who made the catch of his career. Look at this thing. Tips it and holds on to set up a game-winning field goal try by Peter Holt. From 32 yards out, Holt nailed it. And Tolner's Aztecs had won it, 22-20 over Cal. 41,000. They saw a terrific yeah. game. Aztecs and Cal use every second to settle things. USD opened its home season tonight against St. Mary's for the first time in 10 years. San Diego State beat a Pac-10 school, nosing out Cal in the Thriller, 22-20. Now the Aztecs sputtered coming out of the gate, but the special teams gave them a lift. Matt Clisby fumbled. Eric Sutton was right there to recover for San Diego State. Then, a few ticks into the second quarter, the offense made the turnover count. Tim Gutierrez to Ken Overby, 7-3 San Diego State. Before the half end of the Bears took the lead, Dave Barr to Yuwani Uzwe Uke. Hey, that's hard to say. It was 14-7. Third quarter belonged to the Aztecs. They outscored Cal 12-0. Big play, 65-yarder Will Blackwell. Great body control. San Diego State led it 19-14. But Cal wouldn't go away. Bar backpedaling found freshman tight end Mark Vera to make it 2019 Bears. Then the key play. Cal went for the uh, two, but Bar's pass for Tyrone Edwards no good. The re uh, lead remained one. So back came the Aztecs. Gutierrez lobbed one up for Mark Ziegler. He made a juggling catch all the way to the California 16-yard line. Then with time running out, Peter Holt kicked a 32-yarder for the two-point victory. Second left of the hey, game. Best feeling of my life. Just wanted to hit it right and put it home. Me down there. I'm a little bit uh, on a high too. You know, those kind of wins are, it's, they're, they're the joy in coaching when you see players hang in there and then something real good happened to guys that have had some bad things happen to them. And it's, it's, it's what it's all about. I mean, it's what a team sport is all about. It's, it's the joy you get that you may not get in an individual sport.